Welcome to the Bearable Traders Dash Trader Pro video series. In this video, we will discuss placing orders. Placing orders is how we buy and sell equities. It is how we enter and exit positions. It is typically done by using the order entry portion of the montage or by using hotkeys. In either case, the result is the same. Behind every order, whether on the montage or by hotkey, is a script that DOS reads to execute your order according to your instructions for things like share size, order time and force, order route, etc. The easiest type of order to place is a market order. This is a buy or sell order to be executed immediately at current market prices. The price is technically at the discretion of the market maker, but a buy order will usually fill at or near the ask and a sell order will usually fill at or near the bid. When you place a market order in DAS, you definitely will get filled and it will generally happen very quickly. The possible danger of a market order is getting an undesirable entry when the price is moving very quickly. Market orders can be executed by specifying a market route in the order execution area of the montage and clicking the buy or short buttons. Let's place a market order. I would like to place a market order to buy 100 shares of Apple at the current market price. To do this, I will specify a market order route. Please note that my broker is Interactive Brokers, which provides a unique market route titled SMRTM. Your broker may have a different market route, or the field may simply say market. I will now enter the number of shares as 100. Now I will simply hit the buy button. Notice in my positions window, I now own 100 shares of Apple at an average cost of $117.38. Another type of order is a limit order. This is an order to purchase or sell a stock at a specified price or better. For buy limit orders, the order will be executed only at the limit price or lower. For sell orders, the order will be executed only at the limit price or higher. To place a limit order, make sure a limit order route has been chosen and then specify the limit order price in the price field. Then click buy or short according to whether you want to buy or sell the stock. Let's place a limit order. I would like to place a limit order to buy 100 shares of Apple at $116.50 or lower. To do this, I will specify a limit order route. Again, please note that my broker provides a unique market route titled SMRTL. Your montage may look different. Then I will enter the number of shares as 100 and type 116.50 into the price field. Also note that the time and force for the order is set at day plus. This means the order will be in effect for the entire market day and after hours trading for the current day. Now I will simply hit the buy button and notice in my orders window I now have a pending limit order to buy 100 shares of Apple at $116.50 or lower. Now, as important as buying or selling a stock to enter a long or short position is the ability to exit a trade in order to manage risk. This can be done using a stop order. The most common type of stop order is the stop market order. Stop market orders are used to exit trades because it is guaranteed that these orders will be executed, whereas a stop limit could theoretically be passed over and fail to execute. To place a stop market order, choose stop in the route field and choose market as the stop type. Then place a price at which you would like your order to execute in the trigger price field. Let's place a stop market order. Notice in my positions window, I am currently short 100 shares of Apple at an average cost of 117.32. I would like to automatically exit this trade if the price rises to 117.50. To set my stop, I will select stop and choose market as the stop type. I will enter 100 shares and I will enter 117.50 in the trigger price field. Then I will click buy because I will need to buy back those 100 shares to cover my short position. Notice now that the pending stop market order to buy 100 shares at 117.50 is shown in the orders window. Another stop order option is a stop limit order. For this type of order, you would choose limit for the stop type. The danger with a stop limit order is that it may not be filled if the price is moving quickly. For this reason, it is better to use a stop market order to fully exit a trade that is moving against you. 
However, stop limits can be great for taking partial profit on a winning trade. For example, say you are long 100 shares of Apple at $117, and the price is now at $117.50. You could set a stop limit order to sell 50 of those shares at $117.99. The limit order would ensure that you obtained $117.99 for those 50 shares. Let's place a stop limit order. Notice I am currently long 100 shares of Apple at an average cost of 117.58. I want to exit 50% of my position, or 50 shares, if the price reaches 117.99. To set up this order, I will select Stop and choose Limit as the stop type. I will then enter 100 shares and enter 117.99 in the price field. I will then click Sell. Notice in my orders window, I now have a pending limit order to sell 50 shares of Apple at 117.99 if the price should move in my direction. Some people like to use a trailing stop. This would be implemented by choosing trailing for the stop type and entering a trailing value in the trailer price field. As an example, say you were long in a stock at $10. You could place a 10 cent trailing stop that would follow the price upwards but if the price pulled back 10 cents from the current level, you would be stopped out. Let's place a trailing stop. Notice I am currently long 100 shares of Apple at an average cost of 117.78. To set up a 25 cent trailing stop, I will select stop and choose trailing as the stop type. I will enter 100 shares and then enter 0.25 in the trigger price field. Then I will click Sell. Notice I now have a 25 cent trailing stop for 100 shares in my orders window. Now if the price pulls back 25 cents from its current price, my trade will be stopped out with a market order. If Apple keeps going up, the stop will follow it upward. Always 25 cents below the new high. And finally, there is the stop range order. With this order, you would enter a price below where the stock is currently trading in the low range field and enter a price above the current price in the high range field. When it reaches one of the prices of the range, DOS will send the appropriate buy or sell order. Note that a market order will be sent when the stock price is reached, low range for sell orders and high range for buy orders, and a limit order for the target price, high range for sell orders and low range for buy orders. Let's place a stop range order. Notice I am currently short 100 shares of Apple at an average cost of 117.57. I want to fully exit the position with a loss at 118 or with a profit at 116. To do so, I will enter a range order by selecting stop and choosing range as the stop type. I will enter 100 shares and I will enter 116 in the low range field and 118 in the high range field. Then I will click buy because I am in a short position and I need the stop to cover my borrowed shares. Notice I now have a pending order to either cover my 100 shares with a market order at 118 or a limit order at 116. This concludes the video placing orders in the Bearable Traders